Hello and welcome to Transformations. Today we're going to look at how to take a triangle or a shape and reflect it, and rotate it, or translate it. So we'll start with the triangle ABC, where we start at negative 2, 3, we'll call this point A, and then negative 5, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, there's point B, and negative 5, 7, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there's point C. So we've got this triangle here that we're starting with. And my first job is to reflect the triangle over the x-axis. You can reflect it over the x-axis. You could reflect it over the y-axis. You could reflect it over a line, like x equals something or y equals something. But for the x-axis reflection, probably the easiest way to think about it is this is 3 above the x-axis. So if I flip it, it's going to end up 3 below the x-axis. This point's going to come here. This point will, will come here, and this point is 7 above, so it'll end up 7 below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 below. And the way we label these is this was a, this is a prime, my new A, my transformed A. This was my B, this is my B prime, this was my C, this was my C prime. Then it says to rotate triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, that's this one, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So again, this is clockwise and this is counterclockwise. So what you think about is if I were to draw this little line in from here to the origin, I need it to make a 90 degree angle. I need it to twist 90 degrees. So that, and it's going to be twos and threes because this is negative two, negative three. So it's going to be this also twos and threes here. Um, here's three and here's two, maybe something like this. Looks like that would make a 90 degree angle right there. So there's one point. This one's going to do the same thing, right? It's right on that line. It's going to twist. And so think about uh, going down to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Something like that with 7s and 5s. If this twists, that's going to twist all the way in there and again make a 90 degree angle. This would be double, see double prime. This is going to be A double prime and B double prime. We're kind of doing the same thing. Our numbers here are fives and threes. So I'm looking for fives and threes, maybe something like this. One, two, three, four, five. If I did that, that would give me a 90 degree twist. Yeah, so here it looks like something like this. Would give me my 90 degree twist. So this edge here would twist and end up being this edge, and here's the hypotenuse, and that twists up to there. Third one, translate it five up and two right. Translation is just a slide. So now we're just going to go up five every point. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, but not just five up, also two right. So up five. One, two, three, four, five, and two over. This one, one, two, three, four, five, two over, one, two, three, four, five, two over. This is my new, not sure why it's making green, but this is a prime, 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 triple prime. That's how the transformations work. Here's an example for you. Go ahead and try this one, pause it, and then check. When you're ready to restart, here we go. P is 3, 1. Q is 3, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And R is 1, 6. So here's my triangle. I'm going to reflect it over the Y axis. So that is here. So when it reflects, this one's going to come here. This one's 1, 2, 3. So we'll go 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, one, two, three. Not sure why it's changing colors on me, but that's kind of cool. So this is R prime, Q prime, P prime. Rotated 180 degrees counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is this way. If it doesn't say otherwise, we're just going to rotate it around the origin. So now instead of a 90 degree turn, we're going to try to go straight through. There's three and one. I'm going to, I think it's going to land right there at three, one. So that's going to go straight through there. This one, if I go straight through the origin here, it's going to end up being, what was this, 6? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, right about there. And this one also strength of the origin, something like this. It's going to be six and one, two, three. It's going to be here. So we've got this. What is it? Three? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, here. Just three, something like this. Here's my 180 degree turn triangle. And then the last one is we're going to translate it two down and five left. So two down, one, two, three, four, five. Two down, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Two down, one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully your third triangle looks something like this. Transformations. Have a good day.